Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm making and testing a microphone shield, so let's go. So with this microphone shield, I'm actually going to 3D print it. Now if you want a copy of the STL file, it's down in the description below. Now I did have an issue with the first few layers of this print. So what happened was I was able to snap the bottom off, reprint it again, but only just that bottom section. And then all I needed to do was join the two sections together. So the first thing I tried to do was super glue them together. Don't do this, it doesn't work. The super glue doesn't hold and it's, the layers just pull apart. So I'll save you the time. Now I did get this cold weld stuff that when you join the two parts together and mix them together, use it like the super glue, but this stuff sets like metal. It is really hard when it goes solid and we'll join the two pieces together. I just held the two pieces together with some clips and that way they set in the right place. Now I did this over a couple of goes instead of just doing everything at once. Make sure the center was joined first and then the outside of the shield. So I'm just going to do this test now so we can see how much audio we're picking up from the actual computer and then when we put the microphone shield over it, the cover, we'll see if it blocks much out. Before I printed up that shield is I actually had some uh, filters put on the OBS recording which you probably want to do anyway. Um, but we'll turn those off as well so we'll do a comparison between all of them all right guys so what i'm doing while this is drying over here i've set the microphone up so we can get an idea of how much sounds coming from the computer is being picked up from me talking and some game sound as well in obs studio as you can see here we can see how much audio is being picked up now I have got filters turned off. I did have a noise suppression installed, which I'll turn on in a second so you can see the difference. But as the bass just microphone plugged in and that's it, this is what you can hear. So if we have a listen, you can see it's picking up a lot of computer noise. So that's the fans I've got running, uh, especially with that FX CPU, it's got, at least three 120 mil fans trying to cool it down and the two graphics cards plus the server over there that's making noise so it's making a bit of background noise without installing the actual shield or whatever you want to call it I'm gonna try put a noise suppression on just so we can see what that's like and if we can block out some of the computer noise so and even just then, it just instantly cut out the computer. Probably should have done this prior to doing all those gaming videos. So with in-game, let's try that. So it still seems to be picking up quite a bit from the speakers because obviously the speakers are facing towards. Now, if I was recording this with headphones, you wouldn't be hearing it, wouldn't be an issue. But as you've seen in other videos, I play with uh, Chris or playing games with other people. I might have the speakers on. So what we can try and do, the suppression, the noise suppression's blocking most of the noise coming from the computer, but not all of it. So if I'm going to use the speakers, I'm probably going to need to try and use that shield, which will sit over it and potentially block a lot of the sound that's coming from the speaker but we also want my sound to actually come through and pick up in the microphone so with that cage around there even just doing it with my hands you can see the audio does change a little bit if I block it completely you'll only hear certain frequencies of my voice um, so you don't want to block 
both side or one side. If we're blocking one side, it's going to give that poor, that poor recording sound. You can sit that one over there. So that's sitting quite nice over that the actual microphone. Now all you need to do is use like an elastic band, which I've stolen from Josephine. Um, you basically hook onto one side. Of all right, there you go, clipped on. It's not going to fall off. It does move around a little bit. You just need to pull the microphone down on it. So it doesn't seem to have affected the audio too much. The first thing I'm going to do, turn off the noise suppression. So even still, you can still hear the computer a little bit. It doesn't seem to be as loud as before. It has blocked a little bit, but you're still going to need to put that filter on. So as soon as I put the filter back, there you go. Nothing. Now, the only other thing to try is gaming audio. So it's still picking up some of that from the speaker. Which is going to be hard to block out because it is basically audio coming at it. The only other thing I was thinking is you could probably install a noise gate and that would try and cut out the music from the speakers. The only other thing I can think of to add is a bit of foam on the inside. So I'll see if I can find some. Alright guys, it's a new day. Now, I've got the foam. I have cut it out to the right size, but what I'm going to do is clean up the whole unit together and install the foam in there. So I'm going to do that first before I test it. Now here I am just sanding down the piece. So that weld stuff, it actually is quite easy to sand. Just use a high grit sandpaper and sand it back until it's nice and smooth. Now I did try and spray paint the foam a different colour. Don't do this, it just didn't absorb properly, it's a waste of time. So all you have to do is use super glue to join the foam to the actual microphone shield. Now because it's such a larger area, it'll actually hold on properly. Alright, so here we go, everything's all put together and attached and installed properly. Um, now that's actually come together quite nice it's holding on very sturdy so i'm quite happy with that um everything seems to have dried all the glues dried um as you can see there's a few things i wouldn't recommend doing um like using super glue to hold stuff together and trying to paint the foam um if i wanted to do this again properly i would probably do the foam again and not spray paint it. You could probably try and get different colored foams if you wanted to get something like that. But now let's test to see if it picks anything up different. So if I have the, the microphone now where I'd normally sit it, the noise suppression is on. So without it on, with noise suppression, All right, now with that noise suppression on, we're going to try turn Rocket League on again and we'll get that in-game audio. All right, so what I'm going to do is put all of them side by side quickly and then you can see and hear each of the sound coming from each of those. So the first thing we're going to test is the fans from the computer itself. So let's listen to each one of those. So as you can tell, the shield did absolutely nothing. So basically we got the same amount of noise from the fans in total. So let's try the noise suppression.
So as you can see there, it didn't matter if you had the shield or not. The noise suppression blocked out the computer and all three methods had the same effect. Let's look at the in-game noise. Now the noise obviously coming from the speaker, you can tell that as I use the shield and then the shield with the foam, it actually worked a little bit better. To summarize this all up, you do need to do is install the noise suppression. If you want to know how to do that, let me know. I can do another video on that. The only use for having this microphone shield is to block out some of the noise coming from the computer into the microphone. In most cases, you'll have headphones on while you're actually playing the game or whatever it is you might be doing. Because I play games that I want to have the speakers on because there's more than one person in the room, that's where this microphone shield actually comes in handy. It does block a little bit of the noise, um, but you still need to have that noise suppression. Let me know if you have any thoughts, questions. Uh, let me know if you liked the video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.